Yo, what's up, motorized bicyclists, boys and girls? So, um, I'm back with another, uh, quick clip today. I don't know, maybe video, whatever. Either way, I, uh, doing a quick vid with my red bike. So, as I showed in my last video when I was riding my mini bike, I fucked up my knee. It's healing up. Decent, anyways. Um, but I did that on this bike. So, when I crashed, the freaking handlebars went into the, uh, the gas tank and put a big freaking dent in it. This was a nice gas tank. It was brand new. There was nothing wrong with it. So that sucks. Um, as you can see, though, I have a big expansion chamber on there now. I uh, just got done taking this off. Or, yeah, this one right here off. It had no cap on it. I'd been. It still has the baffles, but no cap. I'd been running this one, and I have another capped muffler in case I wanted to use that. But um, I was running just a, a stock muffler, capless. Anyways, uh, it. I was having tuning issues, and the only reason I was procrastinating putting the expansion chamber on was because I didn't want to have to tune it. I just wanted to run a, a 70 jet in it and run the stock pipe, but <laughs> having tuning issues, so I'm just going to throw that pipe on there and hope that it runs better. And uh, so I got it on there. I'm going to flip it around because this side you can't even really see the pipe. upside down why did that why is it going this way anyways there she is with the pipe on her looks good so uh my only problem i had mounting this up and that was another reason i, I didn't really want to put it on here is this bolt going into there this thing was like right here and so i had to like bend it back i pulled down on this while putting the bolt in i got it though it's super solid with that mount on there so that's nice and then, um, it was a little tight. It's hitting the motor mount bolt. Oh, actually, it was. Now it's not. You can see a tiny little gap be through it, but it was hitting that. It must have moved it when I did this. But, um, so that was a close clearance, but it, it fits. fits good. Gotta make sure my wires are out of the way. Those are touching. I'll have to put a zip tie there so that those don't melt. You guys can't see. Sorry, I was focusing on my eyes, not where the camera was. But, uh, yeah, because those are... When they were just, they were just sitting right there. So, I haven't done a start on this yet, and to be honest, I'm probably not gonna start it in this video. Mom's sleeping, and I'm just trying to be quiet. I just rode all my bikes around everywhere, so I'm trying not to piss people off in the neighborhood. I ride a lot, and this is gonna be a loud exhaust. This is my uh, my black bike. It's got another YD one. I've only ever run YD 100s. This one's a CDH Power YD100, and then this one's, uh, I can't remember. Some Amazon brand, I always forget. Like, on the tip of my tongue. Um, I don't, I don't know, I can't remember. It's some cheap Amazon brand, they're only like 70 bucks. So that, that's actually the same bottom end as that one too. That's just a CDH Power head. But same cheap Amazon bottom end. And then I have a uh, banana pipe on this one. It runs great with a banana pipe. I love that pipe. It's uh, the best one I've had so far. And then... Oh, shit. Try to drop all my shit and make loud noises. That's awesome. People aren't trying to sleep or anything. It might be the middle of the day, but my mom works hard throughout the week. Um, so here's my mini bike. I got the mini bike pretty much dialed in. I got the brakes good, got the motor good, get chain tension good. Only problem is is that it's got a bunch of play in that uh, front forks, and when you start riding, it just starts wobbling like that. Like, really bad. But uh, it runs good. Starts right up. Same as both of these. These both start right up. It's just that one, once you get into it, it just it does some funky shit. I don't know. I'm uh, still figuring it out, like I said. But that's just my quick little four minute update. I got a new exhaust on my red bike, which I will I will make a video when I start that, I think, as long as I remember. <laughs> but uh, I just got back from my grandma's. I was at a week vacation at my grandma's, and I brought this bike with me and rode it all around. And she has a bunch of sand up there, sandy trails. She lives up in the UP of Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. So she has a bunch of sand up there. I was riding through all that. It was being real rough on the bikes, and it ran great. Had no problems. Um, so... Yeah.
that's just my update. Five minutes now, but <laughs> peace out.